my channel. Today's video is going to be a different video than I've done on my channel, but this is going to be a how to be productive video or how to keep on track of what you need to do. It's just a how to be organized video. So I, I would consider myself quite an organized sort of person. I do procrastinate a lot, but I do like to do everything. Like I have to do lists, I make sure I do everything and if I don't do something on that one day, I kind of, it's in my head for like hours while I'm going to sleep. So it's just like, I might as well just do everything and before I go to bed so then I can have a peaceful night's sleep. I, so I would consider myself a organized person. I do think a lot of my friends and family would consider me an organized sort of person. I like to know what to do, what I'm doing, what needs to be done for this thing, how much time I need to be set aside to get organized and get ready for the day. So yeah, and I like to be on time and early for everything. And if I'm not, it sort of gives me anxiety or stress. It stresses me out. So I do find that I'm, I get stressed a lot and about little things. So yeah, this is how I keep productive and keep my stress levels down and just keep everything done and ready and like organized. So yeah, when I was at school, my friend, I would like do this. I would get the assignment one day and then I would read the assignment that night or that day and then figure out what I needed to do. And then basically on that weekend, I would sit down and write the assignment. So yeah, that's just what I did. It's just who I am. It's just how I deal with things. I tackle them straight away and I do procrastinate a lot now. I didn't back in high school, but I do procrastinate a lot. So this is how I get organized and get ready and everything. I have everything I'm going to say in my little planner, which is one step, is like one thing, but we'll get back to that one. So my first tip for being productive and organized is keep lists of everything. Like in my planner here, I've got, let's see, I've got a list of everything I need to talk about in this video. Video ideas and like things that go in the videos. These are my other video ideas. And then I've got, which is like a page and a bit. And then this is all my makeup idea videos, makeup video ideas. And then I've got all my beauty hacks that I wrote down, all my beauty hacks to do for my beauty hacks video like ages ago. And then I've got a whole to-do list part, but I like to put my to-do list in my planner. So like this. And then I like to highlight them as I finish them. But yeah, I keep lists of everything, like every, anything I think of, like if I go back in my planner more, I've got holiday places, places I want to go but I haven't, I've never been to. And then, yeah, I've just got in this, that's all that's in this one. And then I've got like lists of, I've got like lists of everything. Like I've got like diet changing ideas and just like I keep everything I write down just because I might one day want to go back to it. So yeah, I just, I like to keep everything that I write down. Like I have one of these things. So that's just like a weekly planner on like one spread. It's like an A6, no A3. It's A3 size and I just keep track of absolutely everything I need to do that day. Like including like wake up, eat breakfast, go to work, shower, eat dinner, shopping, all those sorts of things like and like if I have something I need to desperately do like film, edit, those sorts of things. I keep them, I write them down in here and I just highlight them off as I complete them. Now my second tip is to 
keep a daily planner. So this would be like a daily planner. I'll get one that has more stuff on it. Yeah. So this is one. This is like the first week I ever did. I also have the date up the top, just so I know like what the date is. But like I've got things here that aren't highlighted, so if they're not highlighted, I move them over to the next page, or the next line, like the next day or the next day. But yeah, so that's like my daily to-do list. And then I'll go up to the this week. You guys aren't won't, won't be seeing this when, when I'm this week, but this is just what I'm gonna show you. So this is this week, and so I've got my appointment that I've got on today, because today's Monday, and then I've got a dinner today, so I've got that in, and then a big filming, oh, can you see that? Then I've got filming today, and then tomorrow I've got nothing planned, so I most likely will just edit all day, and then Wednesday I've got like a Christmas, I've got something planned all day, and then Thursday I've got a dinner. So, and, and nothing else that day. So I most likely will edit also that day. I've got a lot of videos to edit. And then I've got work Friday, Saturday. And then a dinner on Sunday. And so that's all in my planner. And then the following week I don't have any work. But I've just got like the days I've asked for off for work. Or in like highlighted. So I know that I can like, what I can do. And then like, I've got filming and like I've got a dinner planned and all that. So... I like to look at my planner maybe one, once a day, maybe every few days, but I like to keep my planner and make sure that it's up to date and daily sort of checked out or I know what I have to do that day by looking at it like the night before. Tip number three is to set an alarm. Now if you don't set an alarm and you sleep to like 10, 11, 12 o'clock in the in the morning or afternoon, 12. But like if you don't set an alarm and you just wake up at like 10 o'clock and you're like, oh, it's 10 o'clock, I don't really want to do anything today. It's a very unproductive day. So I like to set an alarm for like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, just because if I like was working, I'd have set probably 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. My body tends to wake me up at 8 o'clock, 8.30 anyway, so because I go to bed quite late. I still like to wake up at a certain time, but it's just, I like to sleep in, like on Sundays you can like, believe me I don't do this, but I don't, I don't set my alarm on a Sunday, but just don't set an alarm on Sunday and sleep in, but your body will wake you up anyway. So just, I'm trying to get my sleeping patterns back to normal because they're quite screwed up at the moment but set an alarm for whatever time you need to be awake give yourself like if you have to leave home at seven o'clock and you know it takes you maybe an hour to get ready wake up at like quarter to six just so you're you can wake up slowly and then like six o'clock you're like you know you have to be doing something like putting your makeup on cleansing your face doing something so that's what I like to do. I like to give myself an hour in the morning and then like give it like a 10-15 minute buffer just in case I'm busy or something. Number four tip of being productive is go for a walk in the morning. I It will make you feel more productive like you've done something in the morning. So just wake up like an extra 40 minutes early. Go for like a 20-30 minute walk, have a shower and then you're good for the rest of the day and then you can just get ready like normal. Um, I like to do walks in the morning and so if I don't do a walk in the morning I just I don't feel like I'm productive or like sometimes some days if I do like a lot of things I feel productive even if I haven't done a walk in the morning but I do I do like to go for a walk in the morning it's something I'm trying to get back into. It's quite hot now at the moment because it's summer so I don't really like afternoon walks, but morning walks are great because they make you feel like you've achieved something in the day. Fifth tip is to use your digital tools as well as your as like a paper tool. So I like to use my planner, so that's my paper tool, and like 
books all over the place and my little A3 planner thing. But I also like to put in like digital reminders and things. Like I've got two reminders on my phone here. That's the home. It says like write a list of Christmas movies because that's what I want to do at the moment. And then film these two videos that I've done today. And so once they're done, I go in and I just click them off. Like I just say that I've like done them and I make sure that I have my reminders with like an alert. So at like a certain time it will come up and say to do it. And then I also like to use the calendar just to have like any important dates or anything in. And I, I know this is November, but it's just got like all of my, my important dates and like appointments and all that in there. Just because I can never, I can't always rely on myself to check out my planner. So I like to use the calendar on my phone. My sixth tip is to keep track of your spending. Now I know this is probably not like a very productive thing, but to be organized and productive, you need to keep track of all your spending. So what I like to do is keep, is to get receipts from everything I buy. If that's food or snacks or I don't know, stationery or even like Translink um, and like topping up my go card. Like that's, I keep those, those receipts and I do file them away at like a certain time. But I like to keep track of all of my spending and I like to limit myself to spending. So if I know I have to use public transport, I will keep some money out offside and s sort of like save it and not spend it, if that makes sense. And then if I know I've got like a birthday coming up or like Christmas coming up, I know that I need to save money and spend it on my family for Christmas. And I like to do that quite early, so it's out of the way and I don't have to think about it and then they're wrapped and yeah. But yeah, I like, I'm a huge person on spending what you've got and still saving money. Like, I like to spend, I like to save my money. Like, I have, like, I need, to, I'm saving up for a car, so I need to save quite a lot of money and I have a goal by the end of this year to hit. And my seventh tip is to have goals. Like, I have my yearly like resolutions which aren't really that great but I like to have goals and hit them and you've got to write your goals down so you can hit them. My goals are in my planner in one section, I think they're in my goal, I have a goals section in my planner. So I write all my goals down and hopefully one day I'll hit them. So I have like lots of goals, I like to hit my goals and like, if they've got a time frame they need to be hit by that time frame or just after. My next tip is to have a clean space. So you don't want to see anything that's over this way because that's my bed and it's got all my stuff that I keep everywhere. That, like you can see behind me and like on like my seat, I keep things on my seat and like where I have my computer. So I keep all this stuff everywhere but when I film it's like a mess. But I like to have a clean space if I find that my room is too messy, I can't focus and I think about, oh this needs to be clean, this needs to be done, oh my god, this, then this. So, and I like to have things in their place. If I don't, if something has been moved, I'm like, where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? So, yeah, I'm weird that way. But like, I need to have a clean space and it all to be organized and I feel more productive if I've got a clean space. Even if you've got to clean the space, it's a productive thing, like you're cleaning the space. So you're doing something, so you're being productive. For me, I to be productive, I need to be in a clean environment and clean space and just everything needs to be clean. And my last tip on how to be productive is have or create a routine. So I work and I also do YouTube and I do a lot of other things. So I have like a separate routine for every single day that I do different things. So if I'm filming, depending on what I'm filming that day, I 
start being organized about 10. I get everything organized and then I start filming maybe 10.30, quarter to 11. Because it takes a while to set up and everything. So, yeah, and then I, because we're in summer at the moment, I can start later and then I finish, like, I can finish filming at like 4 o'clock or 3 or 4 o'clock because the sun's up for quite a long time. Not as long as it is in like Melbourne or Sydney, but yeah. I like to do certain things, have lunch at a certain time, enjoy have breakfast. If I don't really have anything planned on a day, I do wake up at like maybe 9 o'clock, then have break I like watch some stuff on my computer, like YouTube or a TV show or something like that. And then I will have breakfast and I have work at like, I start work at like a certain time. And then I organize on like the TransLink app what time, like how I would get there or organize with my mum or my brother if they can drop me off. And then I organize how long it will take me, like I organize what time I have to leave home. And then I give myself an hour or an hour and 15 maybe, depending on, it's usually like an hour and 15 just so I can get up in like 15, it takes me like 15 minutes to get out of bed. So I just give myself an hour and 15 to get ready, do my makeup, cleanse my face, have breakfast and that's all done and if I have other things to do and I, I don't need my makeup on I can get up in half an hour, have some breakfast and leave. So yeah, it's good and yeah. That's all of my tips on how to be productive or organised. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see any more lifestyle videos then just let me know in the comments below and if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and because I loved doing it and yeah I just love doing sort of hack sort of videos so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because it means so much to me when you guys do and I'll see you guys in my next video thanks guys bye